Welcome back to Crafting with Rocks. This is a Holy Bama, and today we are going to build an iron farm, just like we discussed in the previous episode. Today was also Minecon, so that brought in some great news with all the caves and cliffs update. But uh, I think with this one, since I don't have an area that I can reset easily, like resetting the nether, then I am going to put off playing that until it's full release. I might uh, test out some of the features in, in the snapshots, but I probably won't bring it into this world until the full release. But uh, meanwhile, back to what we've been doing around here. We've got down here some storage system built out. I got about half of this side done which took a lot of wood and iron. So we're going to definitely need this iron farm up and operational soon. So we've been sticking all of the uh, supplies from the temporary storage into that, and it's been taking a long time to load it. But uh, it's doing a good job and uh, keeping track of my stuff for me. Over there is the loading system in the corner that uh, shoots up the uh, the things that I load into it, mostly stone, and uh, dispenses them into the water stream that goes all the way around. And here, let me... It goes all the way around here. And this goes all the way around. It's the same on all four sides minus the storage system, and uh, then it comes back again. It takes about 30 seconds to make the full loop. It's all on blue ice. Uh, might have been a little bit wasteful with the blue ice, but uh, I kind of like it, so I'm keeping it. It's uh, kind of an important part of the base, so it's nice to have it at uh, top notch. And then I uh, went back to season one to meet up with my son the other day because he joined up on the server and wanted to play and while I was there I got some sea lanterns and I put those in here as well so that's where those came from and uh, it's working well meanwhile I think the iron farm is going to go in that area right there so I'm gonna get some sleep come up with a design and uh, I'll bring you back so we can build that so here is the beginning of it. We've got the collection set up, and next we need to get in a way to hold up the lava. So I'm going to put it on these signs here. And then we will circle it in with more glass it in place. There we go. Now I just need a bucket of lava and I'll get that in and uh, we'll have the killing mechanism set up. So that's a good place to start. Okay, so we're going to try to get a zombie villager for the iron farm that I, I constructed over there before I figure out the redstone and... Uh, also, well, I've got this guy in here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so far so good. We just need to push him. Okay. I stand over here. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Ready? Here we go. Bang. Bang. Oh no, 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 no. Was close. Okay, then we got our zombie villager. Send him on his way and uh, try this guy again. Get back over there. Good. Okay. Oh, hey! Zombie villager's in place. I just gotta get him out of the minecart without killing myself. That's gonna be a trick. Oh, almost fall off. 
Let's turn on some hypnosis. So I can hit it without hitting him. I can't hit it without hitting him. I can't hit it at all. Maybe if I... Okay, you hold that minecart. Now I gotta get some blocks above him before daylight hits, and uh, then I can sleep. Hitboxes. And I keep those blocks over here. I needed a few more. Anyway. I want them to be polished bricks. Then I gotta figure out the redstone for the pistons that are gonna make this thing work. Okay, next we gotta get three villagers in. They're all gonna go in there. I suppose I shouldn't... Oh no! I'm gonna send them right on through after I get this guy done being converted. So, he's a zombie villager now. Get him over there. And get back to curing him, because this is a guy I've been working with. And I will bring you back when I have more to report. I forgot a step, so here we go. I'm gonna name tag this guy. And, uh, then we'll seal him back in. So, now he shouldn't despawn and we should be good to go. So yesterday I got one of the villagers in, and also I set up this with the water so that it can flush the golems in, and we can gather their guns. So, uh, so far so good. I just need to get a couple more villagers and then we'll be set to go. And then let them out of their minecart once they grow up, because I don't want the babies running around. And then I need to come up with the redstone method to extend these pistons because once a day they need to not see him so they can get in bed. Is it going to work this time? Because they've had angry hearts for the last several attempts at this. But I'm hoping all the villagers are far enough away now that I don't understand why they have angry hearts. There are four beds and two villagers and uh, they just don't want to cooperate. I don't understand. So I broke all the beds, and I gave them more food, and then I, well, I broke all the beds and replaced them, and then I gave them more food, and now we're going to see whether they uh, want to breed, because hopefully they have enough. I, I gave them 24 each of carrots and potatoes, so hopefully they should breed now. But they just keep running toward the beds. Like it's nighttime, but it's not. So, come on. Do it. Make with the hearts. I might have to go get some more uh, carrots and potatoes for them. They don't seem to be uh, sharing at all, which is kind of the necessary part. Why don't they make with the hearts? It's not that hard. Just make hearts. Alright, I'll go get some more. Will this be it? I got my fingers crossed. Hopefully those beds aren't claimed by the babies they had before. So we'll see here in a second. There's a baby! It worked! All I had to do was break the beds. Yay! Okay, so I will keep that in mind for the future. So I've got the three villagers in, and now I need to wire up the redstone so that they don't see him from time to time, so that they can get in the beds. But uh, that's going to be a little bit complicated, I think. And I'm going to have to come back and let that baby out when he grows up. So, meanwhile, I will work on the redstone. Okay, so we've got them all in, and because he's a baby, he was running around like crazy. And I, uh, I went ahead and closed it off so they can't get in where the zombie is. So now everything is safe until he grows up and his head is sticking in the 
ceiling. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Boy, I'm going to have to figure out how to keep him off the beds until then. So I will get on the Okay, so he's grown up, so this is our moment of truth. Take these three out, put these three in, and uh, once they have slept tonight, which shouldn't be too long, it looks like, then uh, we should get a golem. And that golem is going to need to be washed down. So we will put in the two potter. And then it should. If everything works out, we should be all set. Okay, so now they should be able to go to bed. Got the uh, the shield up so they can't see the zombie anymore. So now, go to bed, guys. Or do they need more space over their heads in order to do that? That would be very frustrating. So it looks like I managed to get them in bed. And uh, now I just got to get the uh, roof on before the zombie or the golem spawns in. So let me work on that. So I'm giving it a proper test, and it sounds like we've got one in there. So after this, I'll only work in the daytime, but uh, for now, I, I switched it so that it would work this one time at night, but uh, now it'll come on in the daytime, and uh, we'll have golems spawning. So meanwhile, this should fill up pretty quick. So I will pick up the garbage around here and clean up, and we'll call it a day. So daytime is starting, and the pistons have gone down. The guys are panicking. And we should get a golem any minute now. So let's see what happens. There's our golem. Welcome to daytime. And have a nice burning. So I better get. Oh, that's loud. I'd better get that uh, hopper hooked up to something that can get this stuff into our storage system. Uh, but I don't have a place to put it in our storage system, so I better just hook up a double chest to it for now. So, with that said, we'll get this chest on there and we will have some iron. There we go. We should get another guy pretty soon, any minute. Hello? Oh, they're on the beds. They can't see the zombie from there. Huh. I wonder what I can do about that now. Maybe put in some stairs. Slabs. Um, I'll get up there and take out that, that row of blocks and see what we got. So I took it out, and already there's a golem dying, but uh, I don't want them running up onto here, so I need to put in something to keep them off. So I'm going to go get some, uh, yeah, some wooden trapdoors. I guess I can make some iron trapdoors. Uh, meanwhile, we'll close that off. That guy got hit, and that would be bad. So let's make some iron trap doors. I can make two, it looks like. I think that's what that makes. Well, maybe we just wait a minute and we'll have more iron. Meanwhile, I will go... Pretty sure. Yes, good. I'm gonna need two more ingots to finish this off. So hopefully that guy dropped us a couple. I 
guess I can make that in my inventory. Okay. Let's get those installed so these guys are safe and uh, working. There. Now they can't jump up there. But they can see them all the time. That should work. Okay, and that lock. That should be fairly constant that they're dropping golems for us. Excuse me. Come on, one more. One more and we'll call it. Maybe meanwhile we'll go get some... Uh, there. Clean up those. There it is. There's the other golem. Okay. This is uh, an excellent, excellent farm. It's working just great. Now, like I said, it won't work at night, but uh, I sleep through most nights anyway, so that won't be a big deal. So, as long as it closes up before I go to bed, then they will get their sleep each night and it'll continue working. If I sleep too early, then it won't, but usually it's well past the time that villagers get in bed before I do. So, um, I think we'll call it there. I will come back with, an, with a goodbye message. So, I think... This is going fast enough that we're going to need to hook up something in the storage system to to keep it occupied. So I'm going to put these, I think, hmm. So I want to have storage for iron nuggets, iron ingots, and iron blocks. I think I will put those three over here. Um... Yeah. Okay, I will get those chests in, and then we'll work on step two. All right, so I got the filters set up and the uh, the chests all in order for those four. And now I just need to hook up the uh, the output into the input over here and uh, then we'll be all set. So I will get on that. So now I've got this set up to where it automatically distributes it through those hoppers into that dropper that drops it into the water stream that goes up and over and into this water stream to be sorted automatically. So now, completely automated and into the permanent sorting system and I can hook other things into this as well. So that should be handy. If I need to, I can just uh, take some ice out that way and extend it to bring the sugar cane or maybe the tree farm over there in. I just need to clean up that rail now and I'll be set for the end of the episode. So with that, I think we're going to call it for today. We successfully built an iron farm and hooked it up to our storage system and got all the storage in place for it. So that should do. I will get some uh, AFK time in between now and then next episode. And uh, we'll see what we can build up for iron so that maybe we have a good supply to, to fund our... Uh, storage project because I have eaten straight through all the supply that I had of iron. It's, uh, well, it's about two-thirds gone now, and uh, I need to build that back up. So hopefully we can get that going on, and uh, then we can continue building this base out. Until next time, Thank you for watching. Remember to do well, do good, and rock on.